As the Western Roman Empire faded into decline, much of Europe slipped into turmoil. But the knowledge of the stars did not vanish. In the Islamic world, scholars became the stewards of ancient wisdom, translating the works of Aristotle and Ptolemy into Arabic and expanding upon them with their own observations. In the great libraries of Baghdad, Damascus, and Cordoba, astronomy flourished. Men like Al-Batani refined measurements of planetary motion with a precision that surpassed the Greeks. His corrections to Ptolemy's tables would guide astronomers for centuries. Others, such as Al-Tusi, questioned long-held assumptions and developed new mathematical tools to better describe the heavens. These scholars crafted instruments that revolutionized the way the sky could be measured. The astrolabe, perfected in the Islamic Golden Age, became a marvel of both science and art. With it, navigators could measure the height of stars above the horizon, find latitude, and determine the times of prayer. Sailors carried it across the Mediterranean and eventually across the oceans, guided by the stars with an accuracy unimaginable to their ancestors. Astronomy was not confined to the Islamic world alone. In India, astronomers charted planetary motions with meticulous care developing ideas of trigonometry that would later influence European science. In China, sky watchers kept their unbroken record. The heavens were still tied to imperial omens, but the observations themselves carried a scientific precision. This global network of knowledge ensured that astronomy survived the dark ages of Europe. Interested in learning more about the history of astronomy? We have a near 30-minute documentary on the Historical History Channel that goes over ancient observations to modern-day discoveries. Link is in the description.